What's up guys, welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. In today's video, we're going over different trade setups that we're watching this week for some major profits. Then we're also doing a recap and looking back at some trades that we gave you guys on Friday that cashed. So hopefully you guys took those trades. If not, then today you have another shot at making some profits this week. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and drop a comment. Let us know what you think and uh, any questions that you might have. All right, guys, so let's jump right into it. So as you can see here over the weekend, we had a lot of consolidation in Bitcoin. You know, let's let's first look at Bitcoin. I know the outs were going crazy this weekend, but uh, Bitcoin didn't really do much. So as we can see here, we're looking at the four hour chart. We see we had a big drop. Um, it looks like once it hit that right before it got to that 19K right here, right when we got to that 19K area, we basically um, consolidated there in that region. And then we had that big drop off right there, as you guys can see. It looks like it went down to, let's see, the low on this one was 17,656. The high on the same candle was 18,000. So it was about a thousand dollar candle right there, right? <clears throat> um, but we did see a bounce uh, and we were able to go all the way back up to as high as 18,785. And then we've just kind of been consolidating here in this in this region right here, right? So so we had the, the big pop, then we had, you know, we we consolidated around here. We had a jump up over here, almost hit that 19. We were basically right there. The high is 18,989 and a half, right? So we almost got to that 19, uh, consolidated there for a bit and then dropped. We had this big drop here to about 17,656, right? Um, so as you guys can see, we have been trading within this pattern though, right? So the idea here uh, in this channel is to try to, you know, you want to be buying on the bottom, right? So it's an ascending support triangle here. Um, you just kind of want to be trying to buy this bottom. Anytime it's down here, that's kind of where you're looking to buy, right? So um, if we zoom out a bit, we do see that we still have this uh, bull flag. Um, so... We're just gonna keep trading this uh, to the upside. Basically, the entries we're looking for here um, are gonna be along this support here. So, um, 18,200 range is a possible uh, entry all the way down to about 18,000, right? Um, so now the way that we like to enter these as always is on the bounce up. We don't want to catch them dropping down. So what we're doing is, for example, this one, we, we would be waiting for it to drop. Then on the bounce back up, that's where we pick it up, right? And we take profits on the way, etc. So the entries that we're currently looking at for this week in Bitcoin right now is a test of this support and a bounce back up. So that's going to be around 18K to 18.2. Um, that range right there, just depending where on the support we are. Um, and then the breakouts that we're looking at, um, the main breakout we've been playing is this one right here, the 18.5K. So 18.5 is uh, another breakout you can enter. Almost every time we've broken this, we've at least gone up to like 750. So that's a good target right there. Uh, you could probably use a $50 stop and then be taking profits up at 600 and 700. Um, and then the next breakout that we're looking to take is above 19K. So those are the three trade setups that we're looking at this week in Bitcoin. Um, looking down here at the 18K range on the bottom of this, of this channel. Um, then we're looking in the middle of the channel at the 18.5K range. And then we're looking at the top of the channel for a breakout above 19K. Um, so those are the, the three entries that we have set up this week in Bitcoin that we're watching. All right, so up next here is Ethereum. As you guys can see, we've gone up as high as 600. We spoke about this level on Friday once we were breaking that 500 level 
on Friday, we were speaking about uh, that 500. We we're kind of right here Friday. Uh, and we spoke about either a 520 breakout or a 500 pullback entry. Those were the two entries we spoke about. As you guys can see here, as soon as we broke 500, we just took off. Um, we went all the way up to about 560. Then we pulled back right back into the buying range so you could have you could have really taken profits here bought back in for a second entry at 520 and rolled that all the way up as you can see um, our exact call from friday's video uh, for ethereum was to buy above 520 and we've gone as high as 607 so if you just bought at 520 and rolled it all the way up to 607 that's a plus 16 and a half percent profit on that one trade if you used leverage for example we usually use either 5 or 10x leverage on our trades you could have got up to 167 percent profits on that trade now if you would have done that twice if you would have bought at um at 520 rolled it up to 560 you could have stopped out at like 550 probably but again at um on this bounce back up at 520 and rolled it up to uh 607 you would have made even more profits so um so congrats to any of you guys that took that trade um the trade that we're looking at for this week um we're looking to play this 600 range right so we want the breakout above 600 um, you could either play the exact 600 range the, the issue with the 600 range there's going to be a lot of uh, consolidation at 600 so if you're entering at 600 you might get stopped out um, so you might the safer bet is going to be play, playing the high which is 607 so maybe you want to play above 607 for an entry this week that's currently what we're looking at there um, for pullbacks probably the range that we'd be looking at is probably around that 580 range um but it all depends you know depends on the market depends how everything's going and how it's acting so it, it's all dependent so the main call that we're doing uh this week is above 600 though uh for trade and then on a pullback we'd have to you know it just it would depend we'd have to see on the pullback see what it looks like see what the market structure looks like and all that so we can't give a definitive entry here. Um, we will give those to uh, those in the trade room, though. If we have some pullbacks that we like to enter and that we want to enter, we'll be giving those in, in the trade rooms. But uh, for now, for today's sake, for today's video, we, there's not any pullback we can give you uh, as far as entries. Now, the next um, thing that we're going to look at, let's see. So we did Bitcoin, Ethereum. Bitcoin cash. So this is the next one that we're looking at here. As you guys can see, we're up to about 317. Um, and we gave you guys a trade, some trade on Friday that you guys could have take could have taken over the weekend, which was above 260 was a signal, the entry. Um, so if you would have entered above 260, you can see that it went as high as 324. So I would have been a 24 and a half percent profit if you took that entry from Friday's video. As you guys can see here, um, that 260 mark, let's see right here. Whoops. There we go. Um, that 260 range, as soon as we were able to get through it, you see that we just took off and uh, we went up as high as three. Let's see, on the initial breakout, we went out as high as about 312. Then we tested, it came back to 280, and then we continued upwards. So if you would have just held that position from the 260 entry, you'd be up about 25%. So that was our, our, another one of our calls from Friday's video. Now the next one is Litecoin. But first, let, let's uh, talk about some trade entries that we're looking for here, getting ahead of myself. Um, so the trade entries we're looking for here, if there's a pullback, we, we'd be looking uh, for something around the 300 range. Uh, we'd like a test under it and then a bounce back over. And then that's how we'd be entering that. If not, uh, it looks like this 280 range is a uh, support here as well. This 280 to 290. So anything here, we'd be looking for a possible entry. 
um, and then the next entry would obviously be above this current high so that high is 324 so you could play either that 320 area or the 324 area um, those would be breakout entries there for Bitcoin cash now we can go on to our next one that we wanted to go to so bad um, which is Litecoin so let's go ahead and take a look at Litecoin here. As you guys can see on Litecoin, um, it's been, this has been a slower mover, but if we look here at the calls, uh, so from Friday's video, we had a call, we spoke about the $80 pullback range. So um, if you would have taken that $80 pullback, which would have been in this range right here, uh, you could have definitely rolled that up to the highs of uh, $90, uh, which is basically where it's at right now. Um, it's a little bit lower right now, but it, it's gone up just over $90, which would have been a, um, let's see, uh, about a 12 and a half uh, profit on that trade, if you guys would have took that trade. So uh, the trade that we're looking for now uh, we, we're probably still looking at that 90 range, right? So we're, we're going to look above the current high um, and our target at 90, that 90 breakout entry, our target's going to be $100. So that's what we're looking for there. Uh, for another pullback, we're looking at the same levels for that pullback. So that $80 range is where we're looking for pullbacks on Litecoin. All right, next we're going to go to Ripple. This was our winner for this weekend as you guys can see we told you guys to buy it above 33 cents so a breakout of 33 cents would have been your uh trade signal to enter and as you can as you guys can see this thing ran all the way to 50 cents guys let's take a look here um so the high here is 55 wow and i only put 49 i think here <clears throat> yeah i put 49 but this is actually the high here is 55 so we did over 50 percent profit on this one trade alone if you would have taken this with no leverage you would have done over 50 percent profit on this trade if you would have taken this trade with leverage then you would have easily done over 100 percent profit so this was a crazy one we, it had a crazy crazy run and we're super excited that xrp has finally woken up because we get asked this question all the time about this, right? Um, so currently we're looking for next entries. We're looking for a breakout above 55. That'll that'll be our next entry that we would like to take there. Or you could just take plate uh, safe and go above the current high, which is 55.80. Um, for pullbacks, we're looking either at the 50 cents range or back at the 45 range. So those were, those are the two pullbacks and the breakout entries we are looking at. Um, let's go on to the next one, Chainlink. All right, so Chainlink here, as you guys can see, there's been a lot of up and down consolidation. Uh, we did tell you guys on Chainlink to enter above 4, 1450, and it did go as high as 1550. So that would have been a 7% profit on that trade. Um, it's currently at 1488. So um, trades that we're looking at uh, above 15 is a possible trade entry. However, there's a lot of consolidation in that area. So uh, the safest place to probably place your entries for breakout is above 1550 or above the high of the day, of the high of the week, really. Um, and then if you're looking for a uh, pullback entry then you're looking back at 14.50 and 14 dollars those will be your uh pullback entries there all right let's move on to the next one tezos um so tezos we didn't enter any trades here but we did give you guys some trades that you could have entered yourself if you're interested um you can see here tezos if you would have entered what we told you on friday um tezos went from 220 which was a breakout entry um and it went all the way up to as high as 260 so that would have been a 18 percent profit on tezos if you took the entry from friday's video um right now currently what we're looking at if we're looking for a new entry is going to be above the daily high which is two dollars 61 cents 
uh, if you're looking for a pullback, it looks like this uh, 240 range to 220, 220 to 240 would be that pullback range. Um, but I'd probably be looking more to be playing that high of the day there if I was looking to enter a trade here. Um, next, let's look at Neo. Neo finally got some movement as well, as you guys can see here. <clears throat> if you see, you check the video on Friday for Neo. We told you guys above seventeen dollars, we liked and we would take a trade there. Um, you guys can see it went up to almost nineteen dollars for an eleven and a half profit, eleven and a half percent profit on that trade. If you would have taken it um, right now. If we're looking to enter a new trade, we're looking for that breakout above 19. Um, if we're looking for pullbacks, so we're looking for pullbacks back to 18, 1750, and 17. Those would be the ranges we're looking at for pullback entries. Um, next, what was next? EOS was the last one that we spoke about here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. EOS. So we gave you guys an entry on, for EOS above 285, and then you'll you see that it went as high as 335. So that would have been a 17 and a half percent profit. So you can see here it's currently at 332. Um, if we're looking for new entries here, we're looking above 340 or above that high, which is at 335 range, right? Um, but we're probably looking for above 340. If we're looking for a pullback entry, we're looking back at that $3 mark is where that pullback entry is at. So those are the two entries we're looking for in EOS. As you guys can see, um, these are all the trades that we took over the weekend that we gave you guys on Friday. These are the trade setups we gave you guys um, Friday's video. If you guys took any of these trades, you guys made some easy profits. So congrats. Every every single one of our trades uh, from Friday's video hit if you played it right. Um, hopefully you guys were able to grab some profits on one of these. Um, but that's pretty much it. I think we covered all the trades that we're looking at this week. And uh, we covered all the trades that we called on Friday. Hopefully you guys took some of those. Um, if not, then I suggest you guys listen to today's trade levels and trade setups and uh, see if you guys can make some profits. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and you guys make some profits out of these. Um, the question of the day for today's video is, what are the entries that I'm looking at for Bitcoin?